This chip is going to change everything. Police, sir. What is it, blue one? We got everything under control here. But I do want to go on the record of saying I never liked it. Not one bit. You got your orders. Do your job and we'll be fine. Yeah, right. In 60 seconds, his heart rate will be high enough. Then we can begin. Blue man, what's going on? We got company blue team inside! I need more time to implant the chip. I don't care! Do something! Can you see we're under attack here? It's all over. Blue one. Continued to tumble. Lehman Brothers was forced to declare itself bankrupt. I think what we see in society today is a result of Christians being apathetic and complacent. The largest single point drop. Many are selling everything, even at a loss, just to get out of the market. Many put high on their list, but is the Christian faith now losing ground in America? Unity is collapsing under the pressure leading only to chaos and confusion. And the uncoordinated moves by European leaders has added uncertainty. Demonstrators are angry about the government's handling of the country's economic crisis and soaring unemployment. The percentage of people who call themselves Christians has dropped by 10% in a generation. The exchange dropped more than a heart-stopping thousand points in early trading, its biggest drop ever. The Prime Minister is now facing a motion of censure in the Parliament from the opposition, which claims soldiers use excessive force. Many Christians believe it's the wake-up call. Hundreds gathered to pray for America and the faith. Soon, vicious battles were breaking out across the city. Around the world, stock markets continued their terrifying climb. More violence remains a distinct possibility. With the economic woes of America and the economic woes of many other economies of the world, the great push is going to be toward a global one world. Thanks to a microchip under your skin, it's all there. Science fiction 20 years ago, but a biometric reality today. The Avanti Corporation announced today it has begun testing its first human implant. Just announced this week that he wants to see a new financial condition in the world. And he also says, I want to see a one world government led by a one world leader.
wasn't what you thought it was going to be. Okay, so you're done. I mean, at least you're done with it, you know? Yeah, but that's not what it's about, though. Well, what is? You served your country, and honorably, I might add. I took a bullet, and I got a little purple heart. Forgotten country? I'll tell you one thing, I didn't see a whole lot of God over there. And don't talk to me about, mm, Lord works in mysterious ways, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> you know, everybody has their own purpose in life, Chad. And everything happens for a reason. It's all part of the big picture, man. What big picture? When he reveals it, then we'll know. Little brother. You got your God and you got your religion, and I respect that, I really do, but that's not the real world. Welcome back. Name's Cooper. I work for Avante, the company that hired your team to run security for us. What happened? I'm still a little bit foggy. What happened is you just became a very valuable man. So what am I, Superman now? Sort of. It wasn't supposed to happen this way, Mr. Turner, but it did. Because of that, you're able to earn in one job what might take your entire career. Okay, I'm listening. The G20 summit happens in Berlin next week. I need that chip to arrive there safely. So you need to get me there safely. You and that chip are connected, forever linked. So what's the plan? Commercial flight in two days. We hide in plain sight. This is the most authoritative accounting to date of Lehman's collapse and pretty much of any firm that experienced the trauma way, of Pike. the financial crisis. What were the biggest surprises to you? What surprised me was uh, the, uh, the fact that you were going to be so late in terms of bringing down the balance sheet. Uh, the comments about shrinking Lehman's balance sheet really... I am the way and the truth and the life. Do you know how many languages are spoken today? No. But I'm sure you're about to enlighten me. There used to be one. Grunting and hand signals. Primitive, but it worked. Now there's over a hundred, hundred different ways to say the same thing. Does it make any sense to you? Change is the nature of life. A mankind will always do what it needs to ensure its own survival. But that's just it. It's not working. It's falling apart. Too many nations, too many currencies, too much fighting, and too much sickness. Masses are beginning to rally against hunger, unemployment, and poverty. Everything is out of balance, something has to change. The world is in chaos. Our religious leaders say it is the end of the world and other gibberish like the rapture. Obviously, the world is in desperate need of a savior. And I have the answer. I intend to be that savior. I have no interest in your politics or your opinion. The only thing that concerns me is that I successfully complete the job you pay me to do. So what is it you need from me? A new technology has emerged. A microchip designed by the Avanti Corporation. I offered to buy it. They refused. It's being transported by plane from Bangkok to Berlin. I want you to bring it to me. You know my price. I want 50% up front. Now I'm going to need 500,000 euros for operating costs. All taken care of. 
It was your mark. I'll be in touch. to scan you. Thanks, Dal. See you on board. Good evening. Nice to see you again, Mr. Turner. Oh, hey, Dal. How have you been? It's good to see you, too. Are you here to see your father? Uh, no, actually, I'm, I'm just here doing some business. Okay, sir. You are clear. So you, uh, you're going to be first class, right? <laughs> Dow! Um, I think I have to go now, so I'm going to see you on board. He's cute, Dal. Who's that? Welcome aboard Flight 417, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be flying at 30,000 feet and it will take roughly 12 hours to get to Berlin. We hope you'll enjoy the flight. Thank you for flying Trans-Pacific Airways. What would you like to drink? Nothing for me, thanks. Hey, where's Jen? Hi, Ted. Oh, well, nice to see you too, Ted. <laughs> You're gonna have to cut him some slack tonight, darling. Why? No. Sure, Ted. <laughs> Here it is. Wow, that is beautiful. Where? When? <laughs> details, details. <laughs> well, you're not gonna do it during drink service, I hope. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, well, I thought I would take her for a moonlight stroll. Ending up at that bridge, you know, the one that she loves in East Berlin? <sighs> Sounds perfect. Yeah, I hope so. Why can't I meet someone decent here? Hey, I introduced you two first. Oh, well, that is true. True. Lost your chance. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, I'm out of here, boys. All right. Remember, mum's a word. Hello again, Mr. Turner. Same thing as last Oh, please. Ah, long flight, huh? Thank you. So, how long ago did he die? Mm. That's, uh... It's been years now. Time really doesn't make a difference, though, does it? Excuse me. You still serving? 
Yes, what can I get you? Uh, what do you got? Pineapple juice. Ooh, <laughs> yummy. That sounds good. I'll have what he's having. Okay, sure. So, you and your buddy over there take this route often? My, my buddy? <clears throat> yeah. Excuse me. I don't know what you're talking about. Sure you do. Guy over there sitting right behind you. You like her, don't you? Who? Her. Deo. It's Dow. I'm Jody, by the way. Chad. So, you guys are with Avanti, aren't you? You and your buddy over there that keeps looking over at the one you're not with. It's my job to know when people are hiding something. I'm guessing you're what, security? And what are you, a uh, detective? Journalist. Huh. Should have known. There. Where is Good. You got five minutes. So you want to know how I know you're with Avanti, Chad? I'm just dying, Jody. Your buddy's watch. Last year, Avanti's top 20 executives were awarded an $80,000 Patek Philippe watch. And your buddy over there? He's wearing one. Hmm. All that really proves is that you need to get yourself a hobby. Or maybe, maybe a boyfriend. Both true facts, but far from the point. The point is, I know that the G20 Summit is next week in Berlin. And I know that Avanti is supposed to make some kind of big announcement there. So, I'm willing to bet. But that is where you are going. Radius. Hurry up, Jerry. So, Cap, where did you get engaged? It was after a uh, singles volleyball game, and uh, we were in the back of, uh, of a Volkswagen Bug. <laughs> no way. Yeah. That's not very romantic. No, I'm not very good at that. <laughs> you know Jen's a Christian. Yeah, of course. How are you going to handle that? Yeah, I know. I guess we just, you know, we don't really talk about it. You should talk about it. Do you think so? I do. Mm. I'm gonna get a coffee. Give her a kiss for me. Nah, hey, get me a ginger ale. Okay. Don't you see what's happening? This summit. It's just a smoke screen for what's really going on. All right, Joey. Why don't you tell me what's really going on? Our financial system is collapsing into a global power grab by the wealthy bankers, the politicians, and big business. Think European Union, only much bigger. The entire world under a single currency, a single bank, and eventually, a single leader. Are we talking about Satan? Here, go back up. So you have read the Bible. <sighs> yeah. Then you know how this lays out. You've got to admit, this looks a lot like the beginning of the end. It looks a lot like the tribulation. Look, to me, it's just a 
another book. How can you say that? Because I live in reality. Excuse me. Hurry up! Hurry up! Hey. Are you lost? Call for Sedwick. Uh, no, actually, oh, I was just... I don't know where I can get any more of the... Oh, hi. Uh, okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> hurry up. I'm behind schedule. I've reached avionics. I'm going in. Excuse me, would you like something to drink? Coffee, please. Okay. What happened is you just became a very valuable man. I know that the G20 summit is next week in Berlin, and I know that Avanti is supposed to make some kind of big announcement there, so... Alright, you two. Who's flying the plane and who's tending to the passengers? No, I didn't. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> what? I couldn't wait. What do you want from me? I was burning a hole in my pocket. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. Ladies and gentlemen. I have an announcement no, to make. No, no, don't! We are currently cruising at 34,000 <laughs> feet, and flight time is approximately... Altimeter set. All right. Just wait for my signal. Oh, excuse me. No problem. Stop. Ah. <laughs> I just got engaged. <laughs> yes, congratulations. Thanks. I'd give you a cigar, but it's a non-smoking flight. <laughs> Isn't that for a baby? What? A cigar. Ah. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, no, we're not there yet. <laughs> Did I hear engagement? Yeah, just happened. That's great. Hey. Thanks. I'm an ordained minister if you all want to get it out of the way here on the plane. Yeah, excuse me. Oh, yes, sure. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, you know what? Um, I don't think that she would go for that, like, at all. <laughs> but thank you.
You know, everybody has their own purpose in life, Chad. And everything happens for a reason. All life has meaning and purpose. It all does. You know, the Bible says, blessed are those who read and hear the prophecy and take it to heart because the time is near. Little brother, I've seen the horrors of war. I watched a 12-year-old girl take a bullet. Died right there in my arms, okay? Why would God let an innocent child die like that? Death of a child is... It's always a tragic event, man. It always is. Well, let me guess, you got an answer for me, right? Because you always have an answer for everything. <laughs> No, not everything. This one? I think I do. Really? Yeah. Enlighten me. You know, I believe the child's purpose was to ensure that you survived. She took that bullet that was meant for you in order for you to live out your purpose in life. I didn't see you there. Can I help you with something? Ah, uh, ginger ale. Hey, uh, yeah, ginger ale for the cap. Oh, it's back there. Hang on. Jennifer? Jennifer, are you back there? Let me just go get it for you, okay? Okay, thanks. Stop that flight attendant. Excuse me? I said to you, won't go back. Hey! Evening. Just got engaged. <laughs> hey, that's great. Who's the lucky lady? Stewardess. Uh, maybe you've seen her. She's a uh, brunette, big smile, beautiful. <laughs> Can't say I have, but congrats anyway. Thank you. Huh? Change of plan. Ted, you back there? Hey, Cap. You seem to be having trouble with the ginger ale. We seem to be having problems with the radio. You better get back up here. Hi, hi. You are the air marshal, right? I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. I know you're armed, so you're either the air marshal or a real problem. When the cockpit door opens, we'll move. 
steady. Steady. Yep. You got trouble. Sir, can I talk to you for a second? Stop him. Everybody report. Is the plane secure? Cloak is secure. Co-pilot just had a little accident. But he's about to help me get into the cockpit. <laughs> get him out of here. Get up! Let's go! Now! Up! Oh, no. Help! Help! Oh, no. Captain won't open the door. Oh, is that right? Yeah, that's right. I know him. But you don't know me, do you? Jerry. You still there? I'm here. What happened? Yeah, there's been a little setback up here. <coughs> Need some explosive up here ASAP. Hang on. Let's see if we can do this the easy way first. <laughs> Get your wine and you ain't gonna die. <laughs> Ted Scott. It is Ted, right? You do realize that with or without your assistance, I am going to get into this cockpit. Have I got your attention? You see this? This is a high-powered gelatin explosive. Strong enough to blow this door off of its hinges. Now that's the good news. The bad news is that it might take out most of us at the same time. So I suggest you open this door if you want to stop anybody else from getting hurt. Now unless you cooperate, people out here are going to start dying. Has anyone found the mark? No, sir. We're still looking, but there's no sign of them. That's impossible! Graham, go get one of the flight attendants. Now! <laughs> Is there anywhere else on this plane somebody could be hiding? I said, is there anywhere else on this plane someone could hide? No, 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 there's nowhere else. What is it? Our package has gone missing. He may have joined you down there.
Captain? This is the captain. Who is this? This is the man that's taken over your plane. Listen, I'm the captain and I'm still in control of this plane. For now, if you follow a few simple instructions, it'll stay that way. I don't want anyone getting hurt. getting hurt. I just need you to change altitude. I'm not flying this plane into any building. I'm a businessman, Captain. I'm not a suicide bomber. Look, this is the easiest choice you're ever going to have to make in your life. Do it, and I won't be forced to kill anybody else. Anyone else? Captain, you're going to do as I say. <laughs> he wants to talk to you. Sorry. I found the package. You want me to send it up? Just make sure it's secure. Well, I got what I came for. Now it's up to you. The only thing left to do is to shake it up a bit. What? You know what I mean. Shake it up. Put the lights on. <laughs> Captain, can you please level out the plane? Did it work? Did it work? Yeah, it worked, Captain. But now I'm mad. Get down! this up so I can talk to the passengers. Hook this thing up so I can talk to the passengers. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry about the turbulence. I can assure you it won't happen again. Because if it does, I will kill each and every one without hesitation. 
Do I make myself clear? Graham, get these two out of here. <laughs> Jensen, get to work on those explosives. I want this door open now. Jerry, are you there? What's going on? Jerry, talk to me. What's going on? Something's wrong. Get down to the cargo hold, yeah? Find out what's going on. Jerry is nowhere to be found. I'm sure he's dead. You down there in the cargo hold. You take one of mine, I'll take one of yours. No, 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 shoot me! How pathetically noble. All in good time, Mr. Scott. No, no. No, 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 no! no. Get her out of here. Sending you down company, Chad. Your friend from the bar. So talk to him. If you don't bring it up here in five seconds, I'm going to put a bullet in this pretty little flight attendant's head. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold it! Hold it. Hold it. You're the one giving me all these headaches. I believe you have a knife. I'll take that. Give me the knife. Jeremy. We got company, blue team, east side. Ah! 
So what am I, Superman now? She took a bullet that was meant for you. So that you can live out your purpose. The entire world under a single currency, a single leader. I, mean, I, I know you don't understand that, but one day you will. When the time comes, God will reveal his plan for you. You and that chip are connected forever and all you have to do is just accept his love with an open heart he will reveal his plan to you mr turner mr turner can't find what I came here for. Yeah. yeah well, how's that my problem? Because I have it on good authority that you have in your possession that which I am looking for. I don't know what you're talking about. Sure you do. And if I don't get what I came for, I'm going to start shooting these passengers. Starting with her. She's not a passenger. She is now. All right, wait. Just... Why? It's in your check luggage? Uh, it's not in my luggage. It's not on me. It's in me. Come again? It's an implant. It's functioning? Well, that's even better. What am I going to do? I'm going to cut it out. Too bad you killed the only one of us with any kind of medical training. I wouldn't do that if I were you. And just who might you be? I work for the, I work for the company that hired Mr. Turner. He's the first completely successful human implant. It won't do you any good to cut him up. Then I just cut off the whole hand. That certainly won't work. What will? What do you mean, nothing? Chip is biometric. It's fueled by his own blood supply. If you try to remove it in any way, it'll release a deadly neurotoxin, killing him instantly. Bollocks. You expect me to believe that? I don't expect anything, but if you do kill him, the chip will shut down, effectively killing itself. Whoever hired you didn't tell you much, huh? Inspector Plan B. You, watch him. You, get him out of here. Come on, get Come out! Captain, are you there? You said you weren't going to kill anyone else. That was a separate matter. You should be more concerned about the other passengers right now. I've got what I came for. You play your cards right, I'll be out of here shortly. What is it you need me to do? I need you to descend to 5,000 feet. All right but I can't guarantee what the turbulence will be at that altitude. Well, then you better stop praying. Get the blankets, put them over the passenger's head, get that flight attendant to help you. It's not quite been your day, has it, mate? All right, put it over your head. Cover yourself up. Cover yourself up. Come on, come on. Descending. But this dude has said that we... I don't care what the steward has said. For all we know, she's one of them. What well, gives you the right to decide to put us all in jeopardy? I don't know where you've been, buddy, but we're already in jeopardy. Be quiet. Hey. Hey. Do you have a plan? 
Yeah. Kill the hijackers, take back the plane. Maybe we should ask other passengers. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Most of these people don't even speak English. Pretty big man killing innocent people. Hey! Hey! I said no talking! Going on. We're down to 18,000 feet. It's getting bumpy. Explosives ready. Cabin door is now rigged with explosives, so don't try anything stupid. You take me down below 10 and keep it steady. I got a precious cargo back here. Hello? Arlo? Arlo? Where's Arlo? I don't know. Well, he doesn't just disappear. Go find him. Arlo? Arlo? Where are you? Arlo? You've got to distract this guy. I've got blood all over me. Where are you going? I gotta use the bathroom. Sit. Look, if I'm going to die, I don't wanna die in the puddle. I said get back in your seat! Come on, man. What's the harm? I said sit back down! What's going on? He wants to go to. He has to go where? To the bathroom. He has to go to the bathroom. I'm sorry, there's your calls. I'm sorry, too.
Captain? Captain, it's Dow. You can open up now. It's all clear. You can open up. Why don't you try the intercom? I want to go see what's going on with the passengers. You had that coming. I'll take that for the company. For that chip, Chad. You are nothing. You don't know how lucky you are. <laughs> lucky. I didn't ask for any of it. Maybe you didn't. But that chip has the power to change the world. It's a symbol of freedom. You are the future of mankind, Mr. Turner. Nice if I had the choice. What's going on? Okay, everybody just try to calm down, okay? Calm down. What's going on? What what did the captain say? I, I couldn't reach him on the intercom. Was, is the intercom broken? I mean, what? I'm glad it's working. It's just the clothes left behind. It's just the piles of clothes where people used to be. All life has meaning and purpose. It all does. I know you don't understand, but one day you will. Let me call you Cat. When the time comes, God will reveal your plan to you. Blessed are those who read and hear the prophecy and take it to heart, because the time is near. It just vanished. <laughs> there, there are dozens of passengers. How is that possible? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Just try to try to keep these people calm down. the rapture. I always thought that I was a good enough person with all that I was doing for the Lord. Now, I realize that just doing good does not secure a place for us in heaven. I never fully accepted that. Until now. Even though I preached it for years. God has taken those that believe in Him. Where are the missing passengers? I want to see the captain. Wait. Okay. What about my husband? Did he believe in the Bible and its teachings? Why are you asking me this? Did he? He did. Everybody listen. All we need to worry about is getting this plane safely on the ground. Nothing else. Look, a 
blast like that could just bring the plane down. We survived the last blast, didn't we? We were lucky. No, not only that, there's something else you should know. We're headed back to Utica. Why is that? That's protocol in emergency situations. I could tell the captain turned the plane back to Bangkok when we tried to retake the plane. All right, well, how long till we reach Bangkok? Uh, about 30 minutes. And we're wasting time. One thing's for sure, we do nothing as plane goes down. Uh, you don't know that. Come on, that uh, captain could be passed out. I can still come, too. We can't count on that. Our only option is to blow the door. I got a better suggestion. We have to act right now. Time is everything. What do you think? There may be another way. I'm in. Okay, look for the door in the forward bulkhead. I don't see anything. Um, okay, well maybe it got damaged in the blast. Can you feel around? There should be some cold air coming through. Harry's coming from over here somewhere. All right, I got it. Okay, good. Can you get in? Uh, it looks like the explosion jammed it shut. Looks like we're gonna have to blow the door after all, like I said. No, wait, wait. Okay, Chad, listen. There are two seams in the bulkhead. One on either side of the plane. Can you just see if either one of them is torn or ruptured? Probably gonna need some kind of a uh, crowbar tool of some kind. Let me see if I can find something there. Uh, no. Uh, passengers can't bring anything like that on a plane anymore. I don't see anything. Do you have any uh, any tools up there? Well, yeah, in the cockpit. Everything we have now is plastic. Yeah, even the plastic explosive. Wait, 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 wait. I got all the tools you need right here. If I can get down there with a couple other strong guys, we'll pull that bulkhead right off the wall if that's what it takes. He's running out of time. I don't know what else to do. I don't have any more options. You've had a rough day. Yeah, sure wasn't what I was expecting when I was shaving this morning. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Hey, I just want to say thanks for everything you've done. You got us this far. I think that's really what happened. All those folks, that it was the rapture. Those that believe in Jesus Christ were taken, and the rest of us were uh, left behind. There is no other explanation. 
It's impossible. And the only one that can do the impossible is God. Hey, I have faith we can do this together. Going in. We're gonna do this. Okay, they can do it. He's got ten minutes. All right, let's get these boxes out of the way. I got an idea. You're gonna have to crawl between the instrument racks towards the nose, almost all the way to the front of the plane should be a hatch to the cockpit. On it should be a handle with a latch. Turn it and press upwards. Has he reached the cockpit yet? Chad? What's going on now, man? Found the hatch, but it's not budging. You think this thing could be locked from the, uh, from the cockpit? Come in, people. Can you hear me? I'm going back down there. Wait, wait, wait. Chad. Chad. You're just going to have to find another way. We have another way. Chad, you're running out of time. Just give me five more minutes, okay? Five more minutes. What for? Five minutes, please. Not a second more. Okay. All right, Chad. What do you mean? Does anybody up there know what kind of cooling system the avionics runs on? On the newer planes, with more advanced electronics, they run liquid cooling systems now. Possibly liquid nitrogen. Yeah, gotcha. Chad, what are you doing? Uh, I'm uh, just gonna try a little college experiment. We got a problem down here. Chad, what's going on? I think I found a radio jamming device. Hey, hey, hey. Whatever he does to not disconnect the liquid nitrogen pumps, okay? Those high-powered CPUs will start to overheat and they're gonna overtake the plane's entire navigation and guidance systems. Um, Chad? Three minutes. Whatever you do, don't disconnect the liquid nitrogen pumps. Chad? Lord, give me the strength. Did you hear me?
everybody okay? Are you okay? Good. Are we okay? We're gonna blow that door. Now! Oh, God. Wait. Chad? Chad, this is Dow. I don't know if you can hear me. But if you can, I just want you to know that we all still believe in you. And you're gonna walk through that door any minute now. Blow that door but if now! You can, I'm praying that we're gonna make it through this. Okay, I don't know why you're not answering me, but I assume there's a really good reason and you're gonna walk through that door any minute now. And if you could just... Chad, <gasps> you can hear me? But blow that door. No! Everybody step back. Get back. Get back behind the partition. Okay, I've got a set for two minutes. On the count of three. One. Celebrating just yet. <laughs> You're freezing. We still got a plane to land. Let's do it. <laughs> the rapture. Okay, she's okay. 35 people missing from my flight. It's not possible. The tiny set of Bangkok is on fire. Tokyo is burning out of control. Lutus is swarming through the streets of Singapore. So it's true. It's really happening. Well, at least we're safe. No, 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 we're not. We've still got a bomb to take care of. There's a, uh, a bomb attached to an altimeter. And it looks to me as if we go below 3,000 feet, that it's, it's gonna blow. They teach you how to disarm those things in flight attendant school. Well, they did, actually. I was sick that day. Why can't we just toss it out? I mean, toss it out of the plane. Is that, is that possible? I mean, wh what do you think? Well, in theory, it could work. Uh, if I get the, the plane below 8,000 feet, to pressurize the cabin, you go down below, open the rear cargo door, throw, the, throw it out. By the time we hit 3,000 feet, bomb will be triggered, we'll be miles away. Can we fly with the door open? Well, technically, you can land a plane with the door open, so... Well, cool. I, don't, I don't think we should let the passengers know, though. They've been through a lot of trauma oh, already. That's, that's okay. I'll just I'll tell them I have to depressurize the plane as a safety precaution before we land because of the explosion. No, how, how are we going to get a bomb down through the passenger cabin without anybody knowing it? Um, I can take care of that. Gentlemen, as a safety precaution, we'll be depressurizing the plane during our descent, so please fasten your seatbelts. Be right back. Cheer up, Mr. Turner. You're a part of something that's on the verge of changing the world.
this chip. It's not a good thing for the world, like he says. I can feel it. This doesn't feel like God's work. It feels like something else. What do you mean? I know this sounds crazy, but the chip, it's in the Bible. It's the mark of the beast. out of here before we hit 3,000 feet. Okay. I'm gonna open the door. Go ahead and open it up. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. You two make a good team. Okay, Ted. The bomb is gone. We're all clear. What are you doing? I'm done. I don't want to be a part of any of this anymore. Doesn't matter what you want. I've got a job to do. And that's to deliver you as planned to the G20 Summit. I'm afraid I can't do that. You don't have a choice, pal. You're not gonna shoot me. You need me. And you need the chip. You're right. I do need you, but I don't need her. You make one false move, I will shoot her. Got it? Go to shoot town. Both of them. That one too. I don't want you to get any crazy ideas about jumping. waiting on the ground at the airport on the ramp you'll never make it off this plane i've already delivered you you're just too dumb to realize it. yeah you're the one who's all trussed up like a pig on a spit how are you gonna explain to your boss how that happened to a smart guy like you huh go ahead jump you're chipped i'll find you But if you jump, know this. She goes to prison for the rest of her life. 
She'll be arrested as soon as we land. Aiding and abetting a fugitive, interfering with a federal officer, theft of government property, conspiracy. She'll spend the rest of her life in prison. But if you stay, we're all heroes. We'll be rich. What happened up here? All those people disappearing. If that was the rapture, then this trip has a whole new meaning. And I'm not gonna let it fall into the wrong hands. I'm out of here. I'm going with you! How romantic. You've got one parachute. There's two of them. You jump out there, you'll both die. Tell the captain we're getting off early. I will find you, Mr. Turner. No matter where you run, I will find you. And I will bring you back. You know what? You were right. We do make a good team. Ready? lost them, didn't you? Global confusion is unfolding at this hour as reports are flooding in from around the world. Tens of thousands of people are missing. Many of them are children and without explanation. Adding to the chaos, a rash of extreme natural disasters has blanketed areas around the world. Reports of tsunamis, earthquakes, and violent storms have struck every continent. Governments and scientists have offered no concrete answers, and officials are racing to calm public fears in an attempt to avoid widespread panic. Yes? Tell me about this chip. The Avanti chip is the solution along with finding a leader. Someone who understands technology, world economics, as well as social and spiritual ramifications. I've spoken to my advisors. They tell me you know a lot about it. Well, yes, I do. And if you think I can help, please. We need you in Berlin. I understand. Now. I leave immediately. See you soon. The dragon stood on the shore of the sea. It has begun. Why didn't you kill him? Because of what my brother said to me about having a purpose. That moment when I held his life in my hands, it all made sense to me. Don't worry, it's gonna be okay. Looks like we're right over the city. Look! It's the end of the world. My brother would have said, it's a new beginning. My brother would have said, have faith. A new technology has emerged. The microchip 
designed by the Avanti Corporation. But that chip has the power to change the world. You are the future of mankind, Mr. Turner. It would have been nice if I had the choice. We're going to change the plans. Turner's escaped with the chip. chip. The world is in chaos. It's in desperate need of a savior. I intend to be that savior. Body's not gonna stop coming after me. I just know there are a lot of people who want this chip. We should go. All those people disappearing. If that was the rapture, then this chip has a whole new meaning. And I'm not gonna let it fall into the wrong hands. I want you to bring it to me. Reports are flooding in from around the world. Tens of thousands of people are missing. Many of them are children and without explanation. Adding to the chaos, a rash of extreme natural disasters has blanketed areas around the world. Reports of tsunamis, earthquakes, and violent storms have struck every continent. Governments and scientists have offered no concrete answers, and officials are racing to calm public fears in an attempt to avoid widespread panic. Martial law has been enacted, and authorities are urging citizens to stay indoors and obey all curfews. Thousands have already been seen looting businesses and grocery stores, and internet reports are pouring in detailing the mayhem. Amidst the crisis, the biotech giant Avanti Corporation has been forced to shut down indefinitely due to the disappearance of CEO Dan Cooper. The company has had trouble in recent weeks recovering from a series of violent attacks targeting their research facilities and crippling productivity. Earlier this month, Avanti hinted at a revolutionary new device planned to debut at the G20 summit. But for now, it seems, that will remain a mystery. Mr. Turk, they're evacuating the building. Your car is downstairs. Just heard about Avanti. I know. Tragic. No, Miranda. Tragic is financing an attack on their facility, assured by everyone it can fail, and it fails. And tragic is hearing this vital piece of technology that continues to elude us is now on a plane trapped in a sky 30,000 feet. It has nowhere to run, and somehow it slips away. We're doing everything possible to break the encryption on the data confiscated from Avanti, but there is no guarantee we'll be ready on time. The best option, our only option, is the chip in Chad Turner. We should consider postponing this trip until we have something more certain. Turner's location, a lead, anything. If we fail to seize this opportunity, someone else will. 
If we fail to locate that ship, it's over, Philip. <laughs> Follow the keys! Now! You don't want to do this. Your money and your car! It's okay. It's okay. Don't make me kill you, man. Desperate. I understand. You're not alone. There are millions of men just like you, terrified by the uncertainty of what fresh hell tomorrow might bring. We'll do anything to put their souls at ease. Anything to feel safe. What are you doing? Shoot this guy! Please, don't! Shut up! You're not a killer. But he is. This guy, who you met only a few hours ago, convinced you to take one of his guns despite your protest. To defend yourself against the danger of whatever comes next. That empowers you, so you trust him. This man is the real danger as he hides behind an innocent woman for protection. He uses you to do his dirty work and take the bullet meant for him. What? The second you get into the car, you put a gun to your head and take your life away. Isn't that right? Max. He doesn't know me. I know you. Better than you think. Can't you see what he's doing, Zab? You're in control. He's playing you! No! Defend yourself before it's too late. Put it down, man. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot! Put it down! Put it down! Don't put it down! No! Don't put your gun at me! Drop it! With regards to Mr. Turner, leave him for me. For now, I'm needed in Berlin. stay in any one place for too long. I have no idea when they're going to be able to start tracking me. Avanti's not going to stop coming after me. You heard what Cooper said. And then there's Joseph. I just know there are a lot of people who want this chip. Yeah, what? Is this a bad time? Maybe for the rest of the world. Without me, I'm still here. And where's Mr. Turner? <sighs> We're in the process of tracking him right now. I don't reward failure, Mr. Pike. If Avanti has the chip back, you don't get paid. Is that a threat? I don't bother with such trivial things as threats. I'm a man of action. Yeah, well... I can't predict natural disasters now, can I? There's nothing natural about what's happening, I can assure you. God gives each of us a call. One worthy of our abilities. My calling is to bring unity to all those who are willing to accept it, and yours is. To bring the sole ingredient to that process, the chip. You do believe in God, don't you? I believe in money. So you better have mine ready, okay? We need to keep moving, Mr. Turk. Warren, it's been a change of plans. Hack into the Avanti mainframe and initiate the tracking extension. That chip inside Turner is the only way we're gonna find him. Put the word out. I want the best team available on this. In Italy this morning, the chaos emanating from Vatican City has reached a critical mass, leaving thousands dead and many more injured. The event that many are calling the end of days has created complete disarray in all major US cities as well. The most devastating impact seems to be focused in the heart of the Bible Belt, 
where whole towns have gone missing. At the G20 summit in Berlin, billionaire philanthropist Philip Turk is expected to make the opening statement in what could be the most important week in human history. I'm Alyssa Clark with World Network. Where are we going? Well, my parents go to my brother Jeremy's house on this day every year to you know, try to feel close to him because um, it's actually the anniversary of the day he died. Sorry. So, you realize they might not be there, right? You're a stubborn little bugger, I'll give you that much. We know you developed that chip technology for Avanti, Mr. Cooper. Eventually, you will tell us how to locate Chad Turner. Wait here, I'll get Mr. Pike. <clears throat> the uh, men you asked for are here, sir? Keep an eye on him. So as you know, the target is Chad Turner, ex-US Special Forces, now courier for prototype biometric chip developed by Avanti. My last attempt to recover the chip was thwarted by the most unforeseen of events. Mr. Turner's a dangerous man. He trained like us. He thinks like us. This is not going to be an easy job. And there's a five million euro reward for the man who brings him to me. Alive. He's useless to me dead. I want you guys to split up. You've each been given a PDA with tracking software. In a few hours, the chip's tracking system will be online, and we'll know exactly where Mr. Turner is. Any questions? And what are you still doing here? Put him in there. What do we got? I still can't hack into the Avanti system. The mainframe is still down. Until I can access the system, the chip won't help us find Chad Turner. Look, I need this chip. Do what you gotta do to find the chip, yeah? Are you sure you saw them leave? Yes. I only saw them leave. Never saw them enter. And you didn't think to call the police? I just lost my wife and 60-year-old son. I couldn't care less for two Farangs squatting in my building. Which way did they go? What's going on? I'm just thinking about my sister. When I was 10, my parents told me I had a little sister coming. During the birth, there were complications. My mother passed away, but she left us with an angel. Her name was Mali. We were more than just sisters. She was my friend. I was her teacher. I was her refuge. She was my hope. She was everything to me. With my mother gone, my father started to grow apart. He didn't care about himself, let alone his young daughters. He was lost. He started to drink, gamble, bite constantly. One day, he was short on cash, so he decided to throw Malik into the pot to cover the bed. Local triads came and took her away.
been looking for her ever since. It all happened in an instant. Late last night, when most were sleeping, some disappeared. What seems like all children below a certain age, with no discrimination of race, gender, or class. What's she saying? Her child is missing. It's the age of accountability. Look, see, the basic idea is this, that children were blessed with the grace and mercy of a loving God because they're too young to choose Christ on his terms, so he chooses them on theirs. I mean, what we just experienced, that was the rapture, okay? All those people taken by God, all the children as well, because they don't have to choose until they're at the age of accountability. And look, don't worry, we're gonna find her, okay? Well, you don't understand. I mean, at this stage, I'd rather her be taken. God knows what she had to do to survive. I think I'd prefer it if she was in heaven, or at peace, or somewhere else. All right, all right, we're going, we're going, we're going. Families woke up to nothing but a pile of clothes to where their children should have been. Those who have offered an opinion believe that this was an act of God. This is Cynthia Brown, World News Alert. We should all be with our families. What purpose do we possibly serve here? I've seen enough. Come, we're leaving. No one's going anywhere. Take your seats. Why? What do you expect us to do? I expect you to serve those who chose you to represent them. I doubt they picked you who went face terrible crisis with panic and run for the hills. How did we get here? Why is mankind under attack? Is it our abuse of God's creation destroying the planet with war, hate and sin? Is this the prophecy? The end of our days? Are we now expected to drop to our knees, all of us praying to the heavens, begging for mercy or will he give us a last chance? If so, we must evolve. We must change our ways. We must find solution to bring order to the world in chaos. To bring harmony and humanity into the community of man. You cannot stop the wrath of God. Have you spoken to God lately? Did he tell you this was his plan? Or have we all become so driven by fear and consequence that it's the only way any of this could make sense? How does any of this make sense anymore? by thinking different. All religions of the world, all books of faith, speak about a day when God restores his kingdom. Since I was a young boy, I had visions of my own destiny, and a day would come for me to stand before you and share my vision of peace, to create a world where Muslims, Jews, Christians, and all faiths could share our common purpose for being put here, sustaining a life as human beings for such a time like this, to be one world under God. For so long we have been ruled by our individual interests. What's the best for me? How can I win? How can I be better than them? And look where it's gotten us. Now is the time. Now is our opportunity to have me become us, to get them become us. The answer to our prayers is not in the clouds. It is here. What's the status, Warren? Sir, one of our tactical teams was able to recover the parachute Turner and the flight attendant used to escape the plane. Where are they now? So far, the best I've got is a 50-mile radius, sir. That's a pretty big area, Warren. I know, sir. We're working on it. We'll find them.
I need information, people. Anything that can get us closer to Chad Turner until his tracker turns back on. Now you know the drill. Hey. Hello? Hello? What? You got a name? Warren. Maybe I can help you, Warren. <laughs> and just how do you propose to do that? I know things. Things that can make your life a lot easier. Anything you know, we'll find out on our own. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe Turner will be gone by then. So why do you want to help me? Because you can help me. Look, I'm a dead man. Sooner or later, he will kill me. And if you fail him, he will kill you too. You look around yourself, kid. There are things happening you cannot even comprehend. I can help you. Big time. Just uh, keep the lights off. I don't want to arouse any suspicion. Steps. Dad? Huh. I'm not here. They must have been called back to the embassy. Chad? What? They used to pray beside the bed together every night. So sorry. I think they're at a better place now. Of course, they're not at the embassy. They're smarter than that. I suppose you checked the stewardess's house too, right? Of course. No one's seen her for days. Don't be shy. Come on in.
minutes. What do you want? How about a cup of coffee and a smoke? <laughs> what, you don't want me to untie you? Set you free? Oh, I do. But you don't have the authority for that. A cup of coffee and a smoke? You can handle that. In return for what? I give you information that'll help you closer to Turner. Well, how do I know your information is legit? You don't. But what else are you gonna do? Go on. He had a brother. Jeremy Turner? Yeah, he died three years ago. What, you think we didn't know that? He lived here. In Bangkok? Well, that wasn't in the records. Why do you think his father requested the transfer here? Oh, by the way, when you get back, I take my coffee black, one sugar, and I don't smoke menthol. I need a vector trace on the residences owned or rented by Jeremy Turner in and around Bangkok. Pack city records, rental properties, everything. Satellite coming down in three. What do you have, Warren? Before he died, Turner's brother lived in the city. He may have used an alias. We're running cross-checks now. This could take hours, sir. I don't have hours, kid. I need that chip, okay? Do whatever it takes to find the chip. We're doing our best, sir. see what's going on out there. The euro practically without value and the U.S. dollar expected to follow. Most anticipate widespread panic on Wall Street and Main Street. At the G20 summit in Berlin, world leaders have assembled in an unprecedented show of unity. Amidst the rising tide of global chaos and confusion, billionaire Philip Turk has emerged as the voice of reason, giving a speech some are comparing to Roosevelt's inspirational address during the Great Depression. Our role and our responsibility here at the Global Summit is to bring together all participating economies to ensure a strong, stabilized global market, to ensure faith that we're all in know. this together. But the change. Why don't you uh, get cleaned up real quick and then meet me downstairs, okay? To be selfish at a time like this and not take care about old people, great and small, rich and poor, free and imprisoned. Got a utility bill under the name of Jeremy Turner. Anybody got a location yet? Got it. East side of the town by the river. Great. Who's in the area? Tash. Sending them the coordinates right now. Tash, it's Warren. They're in a house three miles from you. Address incoming. Do you copy? Copy that. On my way. Perfect. Hear that, Joseph? Got it. We're 20 minutes out. Step on it.
that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. You know, I was never a true believer before all of this happened, but there is no doubt in my mind now. Oh, God, please help find Chad's heart. I know he believes. He's just been misguided. And God, please, please help me find my sister and take that chip out of Chad's wrist. I know now that you are real and believe in you with all my heart. And I ask you, Jesus, to be the Lord of my life and forgive all that I've done. What is that? I don't know, some money, cell phone. I don't know, we'll have to uh, figure it out later. You look nice in my mom's clothes. It's a really pretty color on you. <laughs> you think she'd mind? No, I think she'd be happier with me. Ready? of the world. We have an opportunity to show the path, to lead the blind out of darkness, and the future of light for all mankind. No more falling nations. Together we are strong and wise. Together we are one. Chad, we can't stay here. They're checking our every move.
Wait a minute, this is my father's handwriting. What is he doing with these photos? And chips? Something like this is in your arm? Well, this is a much earlier version. The one that to me is, is much smaller and it's, it's biometric. What does that mean? That means that it's, it's actually alive. It actually lives on my blood. So what's the advantage of the biometric one over these battery-powered ones? Well, with the battery-powered ones, you can still steal them. All you gotta do is cut them out of somebody. With the biometric one, you, you can't steal them because if you cut them out, the chip dies and the subject dies. Yeah. I have no idea what my father was doing with this. He didn't even believe in the chip program. Well, we know he was a good man, so whatever he was up to, it shouldn't be something you're afraid of finding out about. Well, I hope not. Come on, Chad. Do you honestly think that God would have taken him if he wasn't truly a good person at heart? Dow, you're a good person and God didn't take you. Well, okay, we've established that being good isn't enough. Yeah, never is. You need to start showing me your worth. Find me a way to get this guy and do it now. I don't need another cup of coffee. Thanks, kid. I can't just let you walk out of here. Not yet, no. But a window will come. What window? A window of opportunity. Where you can untie me and I can disappear. You should disappear too, by the way. Nobody disappears from Joseph Pike. <laughs> Tell that to Chad Turner. Obviously, since your dad has all these prototypes, he's somehow involved. What does it say in there? It's mostly names, dates. And then you got the pictures of these girls. Some of them have these numbers stamped on them. And then here in the notebook, it's the same numbers with girls' names next to them. Let me see that. Why would your dad have pictures and list of girls who've been sold into slavery. No idea. Here's his cell phone. Here's the last message he sent. It says, Dr. Sirawak, do you play Macrook? What is Macrook? Macrook? That's Thai chess. Check his phone book. Here it is, Dr. S. Hey, wait a minute. Dr. S is the name of the doctor who ran the Avanti chip research program. You sure? Yeah, it's got to be the same guy. I used to take chips to him once a month to test on animals, right? I never met him, but if he's the one doing the implants, then maybe he knows how to get this thing out of me without killing me. There's a doctor here in Bangkok. He headed the chip development program for Avante, Dr. Sirawat. If I was Chad, I'd be looking for a way to block that tracking device in the chip since he knows that's our best way of finding him. Well, what would he be doing with all these young girls? Those numbers. They're like mine. Like your what? My, my number. The number that's associated with my chip. But what, what does that mean? I, I think it means that they weren't testing these chips on animals. They were testing them on these girls. But you said that you're the first successful human recipient. <sighs> Warren. Did you find him? Okay, text him. Because if he knows how to get that thing out of you, we're going to have to find him. All right, I can't wait around for... Just came back, Powell Square, 12 o'clock. Powell Square, that's... That's like 20 minutes from here. Come on, let's go. What? Uh, this is his money. Your sister? Mr. Pike, I have a hit on the cell phone registered in Chad Turner's father's name. Tracking now. Oh my 
God. Look, we'll find her. Run a trace. Give me their exact location. Triangulating his current position. Got it. He's in the warehouse district. The text came from a Bangkok number, Dr. Archun Sirawat. Jackson, it's warned. They're in a warehouse by the waterfront. I'm sending you the address now. Okay. I'm on it. Jackson is at the warehouse. Jackson, what do you got? I got nothing here, guys. Talk to me. Okay, given the time since the Texans, they were running at approximately... Got it. You've got a six block radius at most. All right, I'm on it. Look, I think that's where the muckmuck tables are. Look, since they're tracking me, why don't you wait over by the park benches? Be careful. I will. Guys, hey. you see me through anywhere? Dr. Sirawat? Dr. Sirawat? Excuse me. up on the park now. Excuse me. I got Turner. I'm going to take him. Right on top of them. Get to the south end of the park. Okay. Okay. There. Down there. Pull over there. Can't you get this guy to go any faster? Well, I think the only way to get him to go faster is to pay him. Chad? Yes, there it is. We're finally into Avanti's server. What are all those red dots? There should be one green dot. That's Chad. Any of the other red dots are older models of the chip. I don't know why they're there. I don't care. Where is this? By the river near the water market. Just send these coordinates to my PDA. 
ี่You had a good run, Chad, but it's over. I don't want to kill you. Don't worry, mate. You won't. Join the club. I didn't come this far to have someone like you by my downfall. Yeah? Well, then you shouldn't have hired me, should you? No more warnings, Mr. Pike. If you don't deliver Chad Turner to me alive, things will become very unpleasant for you. I promise. The pain you're feeling in your arm right now, that burning anguish torturing your body and mind, will soon inhabit your soul and punish you for eternity. Your lungs will bleed from crying out for mercy, but none will come. You'll know nothing beyond endless grief and agony. Don't push me, Mr. Pike. I can be a real beast. What are we doing? Gotta look something up. 
This isn't the first time my father's been involved with dangerous people. Whenever he had to go into hiding or keep something safe, he always gave the location a name. Okay. And something that just the family would understand. <sighs> Victory. You think the doctor's gonna be there? Well, let's hope so. But how do we know we can trust him? I mean, maybe he set us up. Look, we gotta give it a shot. Okay. One day after the world-changing events, the wait continues for families of the missing. Those seeking answers have found none, only adding to the civil unrest sweeping across the globe. Reports of widespread rioting has increased the pressure on political, business, and religious leaders who are at the United Nations this afternoon, rallying behind entrepreneur Philip Turk, the man who has become the unifying figure in this time of disaster. Philip Turk's proposed identification system is being hailed as the answer to the crisis, a way to unite the nations of the world and protect citizens from another event. Opponents to this human tracking system are losing their voice as the public's demand for action grows louder. They're not gonna stop coming after us. What are you doing? Maybe if I can cut off the blood supply to the chip and block that tracking device. What the? Crap. It's gone. The chip? Yeah. I told you he's smart. Your boss won't be happy. I don't think it's much further. Are you okay? Okay. Come on. I think the chip's starting, starting to raise poison in my system. Oh, wait. Oh. Okay, I'm going to have to get you to the doctor now. Huh? Let's get you to the doctor. He can help us. Come on. Chad, just hang in there, please. <sighs> just hang in there, hang in there. Make sure you keep the gun on him. All right. Dr. Sirawad? Dr. Sirawad? Dr. Sirawad? Hey, 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 what are you doing? Whoa. Doctor, I'm Chad Turner. You worked with my father. Look, he has a chip in him, okay? We need you to remove it. I think the poison's already been released. You should have said that sooner. Let's get him in before someone sees. Is he still with Avanti? Well, if he was, we wouldn't be here. How did you find me? Track the last text you sent us? I thought I was meeting his father. I've been changing my location so much, I need him to know my current one. Well, his father's... His father's missing? Wait. wait. How do I know you're not going to kill him? You don't. You just have to have a little faith. You look worried. You can't even see my face. How come you don't seem to be worried? <laughs> Haven't been punched in the face for a while. You're right to be worried, though. About Pike? God, Warren, 
you should be worried about God. I know I am. And we're going live in three, two, one. In this time of great tragedy, we must join together as one heart and one soul and follow one belief system. Only Phil Turk has shown the qualities necessary of leadership. The Mark technology is proof. He's committed to securing the world's best interests. Mr. Turk, is this a mandatory program you're intending to enforce? The chip will be implanted by choice and absolute free will. But when the benefits become clear and appreciated, the world will follow. Together, we will prevail under one gracious leader, under the revolutionary social justice of the Mark. The world has been hit with a catastrophe never before seen by mankind. That is why we are in support of Mr. Philip Turk. Ich bin davon überzeugt, dass wir einen Mann wie Philip Turk jetzt mehr denn je brauchen. Philip Turk, et tout non pas seulement vis I am merely a figurehead, and I'm grateful the world sees the needs for unification in these troubling times, and that they see the qualities necessary for leadership. In me. World leaders are assembling inside the United Nations at this hour, expected to take part in a historic vote that will assure global unification during this unprecedented time. New technology advocate Philip Turk will be sworn in as international chairman and the implementation of his ID program, known as the MARC, will begin. In the wake of the disappearances that some believe have extraterrestrial origin, while others claim the Bible predicted its occurrence, leaders from around the world are calling all nations to join together to form a singular global community that some are referring to as a new world order. Crazy times. I removed most of the poison already. He should be out for another hour or so. Will you brush him up just in case? First time student. But it's not just in case I know what I saw. What's that? Well, this is a device that blocks the GPS signals coming in from the chip. You can't take it out? It's the best we can do right now. Lucky Avanti had me develop these at the same time as the chip. They knew there'd be a call for them on the black market. Some people didn't want others to know where they were at all times, especially their wives. And so the other test subjects before Chad? They all died. You think this was the rapture? What do you know about the Bible, Warren? Sunday school, movies, internet stuff. I'm a science major. I believe in evolution. What do you know about the Bible? There's not much I don't know, Warren. You think it's caused by aliens, though, don't you? <laughs> Scientifically speaking, yes. But proof in the existence of God would be fun. Scientifically speaking. Of course. What about personally? That too. Where did you get them? We found them in the safe belonging to Chad's father. Yeah, I was collecting evidence against Avanti for him. Okay. We were trying to build a case to bring them down. I gave him those photos. Okay. Do you remember this girl? I remember them all. Okay, wait. This girl, her name is Malik. She's my sister. Hey, you know what? This girl was never implanted. She's alive as far as I'm concerned. Did you know where her? No, nah, I'm sorry. But they never told us where they kept the girl. <sighs>
Mr. Turner, I'm Dr. Siriwat. Your friend here has been filling me in. It's an honor to finally meet you. So you did a background check on the flight attendant, right? Stewardess? Of course. No family left, never been married, lives alone, and we've already checked her address. No family left? None? Chad, if this was rapture, so it's the beginning of the seven years, right? Yeah. Those of us who are left here on Earth are going to suffer the worst trials and tribulations ever known to mankind. And everyone will be judged, and only those who choose to believe will receive the grace of God. Okay, so if this is the beginning of those seven years, isn't the Antichrist supposed to rise to power? That's right. Sorry, I didn't mean to overhear. Chad, your father always spoke about this. He knew that this day would come. He was afraid that the people would forget to be conscious of the man with the silver tongue. The man who could do no wrong. Yeah, the man who people would follow into a burning fire and destroy themselves. The Antichrist. And this chip is what he's going to be after. Because if he gets a hold of this thing, he can control, control everyone. He can control the world. I know how to find your sister. Warren, if the world are going to hell in a handbasket and the only person you related to was still out there, wouldn't you try to find them? There are three buildings right here, owned by the same white tire. Okay. And I'll bet you anything that the girls are in one of those buildings. All right. Can you get us there? So Turner is with her. Either they find the sister and that's where we'll find them. We find the sister first and use her as a bargaining chip to bring him in. It's a win either way. <laughs> Do you see anything yet? Wait a minute. I see some girls. Here, you look, see if you can recognize Molly. Uh, no, I don't see... Oh, wait a minute! Chad, that's Molly! The girl with Scott. I see her. Are you sure that's her? With all my heart. How many girls are there? That's what I was thinking. We're gonna have to get them all out of there. I hacked into police records. The father's in the system for theft, assault, illegal gambling. He lost a lot of money to the triads in a gambling spree. How does that help us? The San White Triad's known for taking all different forms of payment. They'll take property, livestock, people. What's eating you? People. Yeah, people. Prostitution. Oldest known profession in the world. No, Warren, it's not prostitution. What's going on? What do you know about the Avanti chip program? Hey, Chad, you got a boat on the docks. As long as we get the girls here, I get to safety. All right. What's the plan to get the girls out there? Well, I'm going in alone. Oh, no. I'm coming with you. Doubt. It, it's too dangerous. She's my sister. All right. All right, doctor, be ready to move. Okay, good luck, guys. Let's do it. <gasps> no, no more, no more guns, please. Just let us walk in there and get hurt on the others without a fight. Any other option, you know I'd take it, don't you? Okay, we can do this. Okay? Okay. Wait. 
Wait. Dear God, guide us through the path against our enemies. And how is to fulfill the calling which you have received? Come on, come on, come on. Come on, yep, yep. Wait, wait, wait. What, what is it, what is it? There, there's another girl. We can't leave without her. Where is she? She's downstairs. She's serving the guards while they're playing cards. Okay, look. Let's just get, get girls down into the van. I'll come back for the other girl. Okay, we gotta go. Let's go. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, come back, come back. Shh. You can Shh. Warren, the window of opportunity, it's here. The sisters of final peace. If Chad gets away, I got nothing left. If Pike gets him, it's over anyway. Then he'll let you go. Do you really believe that? Just uncuff me and walk away. I'll handle the rest myself. I can't do that. I mean, he'll know it was me. If Chad gets away, he'll kill us both. Uncuff me and get the hell out of here. You are Warren. 
What am I, sir? You are worthless. You are completely worthless to me. What are you doing here? I wanted to talk to you about Mr. Cooper. Sir, about his uh, involvement today. His involvement? Because of him that we were able to locate Chad Turner, sir. It's because of him that I was shot. Look, I admire your courage, kid. So I'm going to give you a lesson. A lesson that might save your life. I always believe the work I was doing with Avante on the chip was for the greater good. It's okay, come on. Life's sacrifice were for the benefit of mankind. I was wrong. And if I'm to believe that you and all the other whack jobs when you talk about this rapture event. And personally, I think it's a great situation to make myself a very rich man. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Matthew, 1924. Look. Chad. Everything okay? Did you get the last girl? Chad. Shh. She didn't make it. Look, I think you did everything you could, okay? Yeah. Chad. We need you. Okay, I'll be there. Reveal his plans to it. 
My brother would have said, have faith. Have faith. His tracker's back on. Mr. Pike! What is it? His chip just came back on. He's headed for the docks. Night, Kai. Get the guns. Call Jackson, get him over there. Don't lose that signal. I won't lose the signal, sir. Good lad. If you have families, go to them. Just get out of here. And don't come back. Great job, by the way. What do you know about the Bible? Proof in the existence of God would be fun. There she is. She's old, but she'll get us ready to go. Come on. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm My safe house is only 10 kilometers from here down river. to run you know Chad it's marks like you that make my job so enjoyable the basic nature of human beings is to be weak most of them won't even put up a good fight even when they're threatened but you you put up one heck of a fight
this I'm going to enjoy. So you take out a unit of elite men. Expected more from you. It's too bad the poison from the chip is working. caring about the chip. I'm gonna kill you, and I'm gonna enjoy it. You can't kill me. I have a higher purpose. <laughs> and I don't think my purpose is to die at your hands. I'm sorry to disappoint you, mate. Important, Mr. Trigger. All you need to know is I'm here to make things easier for you in the near future. Thank you. Come on. Oh, shh. Look, I can disable Avanti's tracking system that should buy you enough time to figure out what to do next. How long? Until they build a new mainframe, a few months, a year, maybe more. Why? I'm, I'm hoping it's not too late. Sins of the past and all that. Come on. <laughs> Let's get going. Thank you. you know, they're not going to stop coming after you, right? Don't worry. I'll keep the girls safe. What you did today was extraordinary. Young man. Thank you for everything, Doctor. You're a good man. I hope you realize that. I'll leave you two together. you're up to, Mr. Turk. And there are a lot of people in the business community, job creators, myself included, who aren't just going to sit back and let it happen. If you nationalize our industries, 
we will shut you down. That won't be easy. People will fight back. I'm giving them what they want. <laughs> what about what I want? Tell you what, Mr. Vanderway. Lead your industry and all other job creators, as you call them, and I'll make it worth your while. Trust me, you don't want to fight. Let's help one another. Tell me what you want, and I make it happen. Okay, so let me tell you a story. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And the darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of the God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. Great things can happen when people take a stand against what is wrong and fight back. I'm grateful to have Malik back in my life, free from the horrors of captivity, the perfect ending to a tragic tale. But for us, the story continues. The world around us is descending into darkness. Our journey doesn't end until there is light and goodness for all, under the grace of God. We have elected Philip Turk as our new active chair. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. I'm extremely honored to serve in this time of need. I'd like to express how proud I am to lead our new world into its prominent future. As a leader, I vow to protect the best interests of not only one nation, but of all mankind. We'll rise from this tragedy like a phoenix from the ashes and take flight together. We must seize this opportunity to build something new, something stronger, something better. Today, we're setting the course for a new tomorrow, our new world order.